Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today's video is actually going to be a video tutorial for my patrons over on my monthly challenges and swap Patreon tier. Now today I've decided to make this video open to the public. Usually these videos will only be, um, you'll only able to be access and watch them on Patreon. But because I've had a lot of different people email me, message me on my shop, DM me on Instagram, lots of questions about my Patreon and how it works and what they'll have to do to join these swaps and challenges. I'm basically going to make this first video open to the public. So if you have any other questions, do let me know in the comments below. But the only people who can participate in the monthly swap, and today's monthly swap is going to be a traveler's notebook, will be the people who have signed up to my Patreon, specifically to the monthly swap and challenges tier. So if you would like to go and sign up, um, the challenge, you can sign up before the 10th of June and you'll be able to participate in this challenge. And then the monthly traveler's notebook will actually be sent out on the 15th of June. So to answer some of your questions today before I get started showing you the journal that will be traveling across the world... Um, I just wanted to clarify what this tier is all about. Now, every single month, I'm going to be hosting a different challenge or swap. Today's one is obviously the traveling notebook, but next month, I'm going to be doing a pen pal swap, and it's going to be based on a certain theme. We'll also have swaps where you'll be swapping stickers. We're going to be having different challenges where you're going to be doing a little art challenge or craft challenge. Now you don't have to participate in every single month's challenge. If you've signed up to this tier, you can opt in and opt out anytime. So what I'm basically going to do is every single month, I'm going to be creating a tutorial just like this one today. And it's going to be showing you exactly what you can do um, to be creating your swap or challenge. And then before the um, swap starts, I'll put a poll up on my Patreon and basically it will ask who wants to participate and then you'll just click yes or no. And every single month you'll have a option to click yes or no to opt in or opt out. If you opt in, that's when I'll match you up with a someone else to swap with. So I'll match you up with another person or a couple of people, depending how many people you'll be swapping with um, for that month swap or challenge. Some challenges you won't need to send anything in the mail and other ones you can just literally watch these tutorials and participate by yourself or with your own pen pals. So you'll always get options no matter month to month what it is. So that's an overview on how I'll actually be running these monthly swaps and challenges. So once you sign up, every month Month, you'll get the tutorial just like this one today and then you'll be able to opt in or opt out and then um, once that's all set up you'll get a message with your um, the participants email address or um, mail like address to, to send the mail so just depending what kind of challenge or what we're doing for this traveler's notebook today you will receive the name of the person who you'll be receiving this the book from and you will also save an address of the person that you need to send it to. So if anyone has any questions of what a traveling notebook is, basically it, the traveling notebook will start here in Australia. This is actually the traveling notebook. I'm going to decorate it in a second, but it's going to start here in Australia. I'm going to then send it to the next person. They will receive it and then send it to the next person. And then basically what will happen is this same traveler's notebook will continue being sent around the world until it ends up here back in Australia to my house. So I will give you the ad, um, the name of the person you'll be receiving it from and then the address of the person who you'll be sending it to. So I hope that makes sense. I've tried to explain it the best and easiest way possible because I know people still had a whole bunch of questions. And then all you have to do is once you receive it, all you'll need to do is open it up to a double page. 
So you get both of these pages to do a little bio or entry page. So it's just going to be a page about yourself. So I'll show you what I'm going to do in my little hello, welcome, about me page. <laughs> and then you will get also another double-sided page, like a full spread to then be as creative as you want. So you can draw a picture, you can do a little collage, you can splatter some paint, you can uh, um, whatever you're, you're, you want to do basically. You can add in a little envelope and write a, a story or a poem. This is going to be your creative page. So once you receive the book, create a little bio page about you. It can be about your town, your country, it can be anything about you or where you're living. And then your next page is going to just be creative. So as I said, you'll get two full pages to use. And then once you're done, all you'll have to do is then send it to the next person. I'm also going to leave some space for you to decorate the covers. So if you want to add your own elements to the front cover, the back cover, or this cover here. So I hope that all makes sense. I hope I answered all your questions today. Let's get started. I'll start showing you how I'm going to create my first two pages. And then I'm also going to show you the old Traveller's Notebook. So as you can see, this Traveller's Notebook was sent the 2nd of October, 2017. It arrived back in Australia, 7th of March, 2018. And someone designed the beautiful envelope here. And then we've got this Traveller's Notebook belongs to Britt McCowan because it started here. And then I'll show you some of the entry pages that people included. So for this Traveller's Notebook, it was a cacti theme. And then if you open it up, it's got um, information about New Zealand. It's got some letters. This one's got information about Brazil. We've got this page here with some food all about Mexico. We've got different ways on how to say hello, a bit of information about this person. And then someone else decided to add like a little flip book to this one and add goodies inside. And then that's all the places that this one traveled to. Oh, and then another page here. So you can see it literally traveled all around the world and then came back. So that's really cool. I've actually got a full flip through on my video, um, on my channel, sorry. So if you wanna go see the full flip through when this arrived, um, I've got that one on my channel. So I'll link it below as well. So that was the first ever traveler's notebook that we did. <laughs> so as I said, let's get started on this one and let's start creating. The first thing I wanted to do was simply to decorate the front of this book. It'd be fun if everyone could add something, but if you don't have a lot of stationery, then you can just leave it blank and let anyone else add things to the front. Now, you don't have to follow a particular style. You can do it in any style you want, and you also don't have to have a lot of stationery. You can literally just write a letter or draw a picture. So that's all I'm going to do to the front of the Traveller's Notebook because I want to keep it quite simple so you guys can add some elements as well. So my about page slash little mini bio is going to include a letter. Now I wrote this letter on my typewriter so it is very messy. Um, but basically it's just saying a little bit about myself. So I just want to add that one in first. I also wrote about how messy I am on my typewriter. So I actually just printed out this little typewriter here. And this page can be as simple as you want it to be or it can be as creative. So you can add little flip books you can add little envelopes um, as I said you can paint on it you can design it any way you want in any design so I'm just going to add this little typewriter here and then I'm just going to decorate it with also with some pretty paper and then I've got a little picture of myself I've got a map of Australia. I also just want to add some stamps in there, my favorite stamps. And then as you can see, it's quite a pastel aesthetic, aesthetic I'm going here. And these 
washi tapes that I'm actually using in today's video are um, I'm selling on my shop so you can go check them out too but I also wrote in my little letter about how I'm moving to Queensland so I just wanted to add a little map for anyone who doesn't know Australia they can have a look at this little map and see Sydney to Brisbane I've also got this little map oh actually I've got in a little Australian stamp so I'm just figuring out how I want that one we'll do it like that and then that's my little bio page so I've got my little letter, I've got my photo of myself, and little elements of Australia. So that's the bio page that I'm going to be sending out. And the next page is a creative one. So I'm going to do that one now, and then you'll get a good understanding of how you can um, journal in this traveler's notebook, or you can do it in any way you want to. <laughs> so I also printed out this little playlist. It didn't come out in color but I thought it'd be cute just to add a playlist. I was gonna add this to my bio page, but I didn't have enough space. And basically it's my favorite songs of the early 90s. So you can have a bit of a read of this if the Traveler's Notebook is coming your way. So then once you complete your creative page and your bio page, then you'll just send it off to the next person. Um, as you can see, I also added in an envelope with some washi tape that says open me. I'm actually going to gift some things to the next person and some people who are receiving this traveler's notebook. So I'm not gonna show you what's inside because I want that to be a surprise. But as you can see on my creative page, I added a little playlist, some little doodles, some quotes, some stickers, and then on this side, the same. And then that was the letter that I added. So I'm so excited to send this one out and I can't wait to see where it goes and what's going to be inside of it when it arrives back in Australia. Um, I'll do a little flip through on my Patreon 
And yeah, I'm really, really excited. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this video today and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.